What is good, A team? It's your boy T back at it with another reaction, coach. Now today we got something a little interesting, something a little different. You feel me? Of course we we normally come with the music reactions and a couple other things. You feel me? But um, today we about to check out this thirty minute video bit. So get your get your popcorn ready. You feel me? Go ahead, grab your snack. Do what you gotta. You know what I'm saying? Get your little drink or something like that if you need it. Um. But if you couldn't tell from the title, supposedly Saweetie and Justin Combs, which is P. Diddy's son, um, did like a little sit down, somewhat of an interview, but it's like they're asking questions and stuff like that, um, like about sexual stuff. And it's it's a whole lot going on, you feel me? Um, now, I heard about this initially this morning. Saweetie was trending on Twitter um, and I saw like a 15 second snippet. Um, which I'm going to play for y'all before we actually get into it. So, you know what I'm saying? You'll you'll understand why we're here. But there's a lot of people saying that her and Quavo supposedly broke up all that. I'm not sure about all that. They said those two un unfollowed each other on Instagram. I don't know if that means that they broke up. Who the hell knows, bro? Some some girl was like, I, I uh, block my nigga almost every day and be in the bed laid with him. So... Saweetie and Quavo good type thing. You feel me? I'm like, I mean, hey, man, that's what you do. That's what you do. That's a toxic guy, <laughs> toxic guy relationship. You feel me? But with some of the questions I, that um they're asking in here, I, I feel like it's going to be good because I've been trying to get into this like somewhat red pill, blue pill content for all the ones who don't know what that is. It's like the whole, um, I don't even know what a good explanation for it is. You feel me? But it's like, Men not fiending over women type thing. You feel me? Like getting they self together and not putting women up on this pedestal and that whole type of thing. You feel me? I, I believe that's more the red pill side. The blue pill obviously is the, the opposite of it where you kind of just lusting for all these women and you don't really, you know what I'm saying? You'll do anything to like get them basically and to, to, to keep them. Um, so I, I kind of wanted to dabble into that. If you've heard of Kevin Samuels or, uh, what's the MTR mediocre tutorial and reviews, they like dabble in that a whole lot. You feel me? But either way, we about to check out this first little clip here. Let me, let me go ahead and get y'all right. Um, like I said, this is a 30 minute video, so I'm gonna try not to do too much pausing. We gonna see how it go. Um... But we on we on Twitter right now. We on my, first of all, y'all be sure to go follow your boy. That's underscore at on Twitter, underscore at on Instagram. Um, but this is what I seen here. Where is it at? Right here, Coach. A little fifteen second. Hold on, I don't, I don't think that was it. I think this to make was all of y'all shop. Okay, so that shopping. Now the title is Saweetie speaks on if she would grant her man a threesome. Ladies who's watching this right now, and for all the ladies, all the fellas, if you're watching this, I want y'all to give some honest opinions on this, your opinions on the stuff we're about to hear, you feel me? I don't want it to be like you just agreeing with what I'm saying. I want you to give me your honest opinion, and we're going to have some um, some constructive, you know what I'm saying, discussions back and forth in the in the comments for sure. And like I said, we gonna, I'm going to be coming with a lot more content like this. Um, that I'll be rolling out kind of slowly here and there. So y'all stay tuned for it. If y'all like this kind of content, of course, we still going to be checking out the reactions and all that stuff for music, music videos, albums, all that. So don't worry about that. But either way, Saweetie speaks on if she would grant her man a three. To make all of y'all happy. Okay, so that shopping spree. Oh, my bad. Supposedly, Saweetie and Justin Combs dated. I didn't know this until today, until she was trending and everybody was talking about it, but supposedly they dated. I just wanted to throw that out there. That might change a little bit as far as what you're thinking. You feel know I me? Mean? But let's see what it's talking about. To make all of y'all happy. Okay, so that shopping spree, that's good thing. That's all of that. good day, good. That's communication. Tongue mm. in your butt. Picking up the phone, one <laughs> ring. <laughs> Sucking your toes. <laughs> Paying all your bills. Oh my oh, God. Wow. And okay. you want to make him happy, finally, because he you put him through hell. So, so a threesome, right? You put him through a hell. A threesome, right, ladies? Right. Threesome. I normally talk to men who are cultured, who's been around the world, who know a lot of people. Right. 
Um, it's so, on you, though. You yeah, yeah, no, 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 I understand that. But because he's doing everything right, I'm going to give him the honor of picking the nigga who we're going to have a threesome with. Oh! oh! Do y'all hear that? Do you hear it? Come on now. First of all, did now this would be a perfect example, I, I believe, of a blue pill situation if the nigga was okay with that. I'm paying all the bills. I'm taking care of everything you need, sexually, physically, uh, mentally, financially. I'm doing all that. Not that you ain't got your own, but I'm taking care of and making sure you ain't got to if you didn't if you ain't want to, you ain't got to type thing. He said, would you grant him a three? She said, I would give him, for him doing all that, taking care of everything, I would grant him the the honor of picking the man. Picking the nigga that first to have a threesome with. Are you joking, my nigga? That's means for, uh, you feel me? Like, what is you talking about? Here's what I tweeted. You feel me? I said... Quavo watching this clip like these, my nigga. Quavo and I said like, right, Shraggy? What is you talking about, my baby? You sound high off coke. I'm doing all that and you the one who get to benefit from it? Because you, well, you get to benefit and I get to not benefit because another nigga is getting to pipe you out. But you get to benefit from getting the extra pleasure, I guess. I mean, what the hell are we talking about here? I'm taking care of all that for you to, for, for that to be what's going on? You off coke, my nigga. What is you talking about? Oh, hold on. We about to pull up this damn interview. How many? What we at? Like five minutes? We have six minutes, bro. Like I said, I'm going to try not to pause it too much. I know I'm going to have to pause it at least a little bit. So 24 minutes. Let's see what this Meet your next about. pillow. Why do we make our pillow in the shape of a cube? I'll tell you. Yeah, what is you talking about? The problem about? with... She tripping. Number one again this week. Now, bro, I've never seen this this guy's uh, interviews before. I'm not really sure who this guy is. Respectfully, Justin, but I'm guessing he does this this type of setup as far as the, like interviews with different people. Often, I don't really know for sure. Episode two of the Respectfully Justin show. They said it's a, it's on episode two. So they you just started. Give me the password to your phone. Hmm? Oh my God. See, now, low key, I feel like Saweetie's. I ain't gonna say I feel like she's capping, but I feel like some of it is for the entertainment because she know that it's cameras, and she know that if she say something that's like out of pocket, like how she did with the he taking care of this, 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 and that, and I'm gonna give him the honor of picking the the man for us to have a threesome with. You feel me? I feel like she knows that the camera's on. She know that that's going to be a like viral moment. So I feel like some of it might, most of it is probably truthful, but I feel like some of it might be a little fabricated um, just for the entertainment. Entertainment value of it, you feel me? Of course they got the Ciroc. I think it's the right lady. <laughs> okay. All right, girl, let's go. Let's get to the interview. Buddy. This is the Respectfully Justin Show. I'm the king of toxic. Listen, if you know me, you heard of me, you've been on my page, you know what's going on, yeah. you might be toxic yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get into it. I got a special guest tonight. Who I is this guy? Sweetie, 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 sweets, icy. I don't know All what right, type of cancers. They good people. Oh. Cancer. That's her sign. You know what I'm saying? I fuck she with cancers. Cancer? Okay. They good people. I got my brother Justin Cole. I understand when like, people go off of the... The like sign Sagittarius Virgo can't like all that stuff, but it's like, what do you mean? He said I f with cancers. They 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 are good people. They're not a good person just because you're a cancer. What are you talking about? I mean, I understand you can kind of kind of correlate that, but come on, Cole, what are you talking about? Well, welcome. It's episode two on Revolt TV, but we gonna get into it. Any of y'all been to college before? Who went to college here? Who are these right, people cool. in the background? Sweetie, though, recently random. posted, she's a bad bitch with a degree. Yeah. The yeah. baddest bitch. Yeah. The yeah. baddest bitch with a degree. Yeah. What nice. uh, college did you graduate USC. Ooh, okay. USC? Okay. Ooh, junior colleges. It's heavy, <laughs> it's heavy shit going on. Mm -hmm. So, what college? A lot of experience. This nigga is, but who, who is this guy, bro? Meet a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Some might work, some might not work. 
Who is this guy respectfully justin? Because this man is buzzed down. He got a buzz down rolly, buzz down chains on. Like, who is this guy? So, have you ever had a one night stand in college? Don't lie, because God is watching. I know you might <laughs> be in whatever situation you win. You got to keep it a buck. You was in college, you was young, you might have not been as smart as you are now. <laughs> I've always been smart, baby. Okay, so what happened? You might have liked him a little more than other niggas. What I will say, unfortunately, not. You're not about to lie like that. I'm, I'm not lying. Take a shower, shit. I'm, I've guy, always been in a I've relationship. Never had a ever no, I've he always been in a relationship. You gotta be from New York, though, because of that accent. Faithful. Cancer shit. Cancer shit? Yeah. Fuck Ain't no cancers. other cancer than him. You fuck with cancer? Yeah. Why you fuck with cancer? They just know how to treat you. Bring the good size out of you. Oh, okay. Up. So, yeah. so when did you meet a cancer in your life? I think it's time to take a shot. Oh! Cut that nigga out with the quickness, coach. He was about to get into it, too. Because he was like, so when did you meet a cancer that changed your life? Yeah, let's take a shot. Let's take She cut him off quick as <laughs> But that's what I'm saying. Like, if her and Quavo was dating, I'm like, all right, what's what's the situation here? You feel me? Like, are they, were they, are they broken up? If they are, is... I mean, I feel like her answers or them being together or broken up kind of matters as far as her her answers go when you want to break it down, you feel me? Oh, yeah. Take a shot if you love yourself. Take a shot if you love yourself. But I got a question. Yeah. I'm going to start with Sweetie. Does raw sex equal the relationship? At mm. that point, when you have mm. raw sex, mm -hmm. we go together. It. Fuck is you talking about? He's definitely sex? from New York. Raw bro. sex. What Not is that? the wrong sex. What you mean? What's that? What no that? condom. We know no about strut. to do that. <laughs> skin. We know about Naked. to do that. Nickel. Soul ties is Skinny, involved. skin, skin. <laughs> Are y'all no in a glove. relationship after that? No glove. Yeah, what you think? I feel like we already in a relationship if we took it there. Period. I'm, not just, letting, I'm just not letting some random nigga hit me. Period. Oh. Period. Period. Who the hell is in the background with all the, you feel me? Preaching to the, like, you back here clapping up to relax. Why you let her answer the question? Who are you? You in the back in the shadows. Relax. But we already, we already once in, like. Once in some relationships? Yeah, my nigga. Yeah. First of all, <laughs> it's, a, it's a privilege to already get the cool cat. And then it's another privilege to yeah, smash me raw. So, Big yeah. privilege. We, it's okay. privilege. She said it's a privilege to smash her raw. It's I'm a privilege to smash me, period. If it's your ex, yeah, I used to have real sex forever. Mm -hmm. I broke up, and now y'all get back together. Raw sex. Y'all protect each other after that? No. Yes. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 This girl, hello, Kay. She's obviously trying to be the star of the show here. This girl is yelling. Every, every time this man asks a question, she yelling at him. Oh. Oh. <laughs> at least she keeping it 100. Yeah. Take a shot to keep it in the hundred. Just for the money. Just for the money, too. Huh? Hold on. <laughs> Just for the money, too. Are you lit, my nigga? <laughs> Y'all only took one shot. What, what's going it's on? It's your ex. You had to roll six. I'm going skin. You going to roll. There you cool. go. Well, actually, I'm pretty sure niggas was probably drinking before this. I mean, all the shots they showing, they probably took two, to two to three times more shots than they showed in there. Okay. At least he kept it 100. Yeah, real What's the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to you during sex? <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about it. He might have caught a cramp and, and lipped out the spot. That cramp That dick crucial, wasn't working. No <laughs> the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to Sweetie during sex. You will never forget it. You called all your homegirls, you put it in a group chat. He's canceled forever. Wait, that he did or I did? Both of y'all, either, either or. Okay, so as woman, like maturing woman. That pink dolphin had fire us. I didn't even know pink dolphin still made clothes, bruh. That used to be, um, yeah, let's keep it going. That when watch you start to down. experience, you don't know your body is capable of certain things. I mean, all I'm saying is that it just, it, it, it sounds like a, like, you know, sometimes you, you shock yourself when your shit starts making sounds and beatboxes and beats and shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm real real shit. A 
Cowboys. All right, coach. So what we? I mean, we got hit with a with an ad. It's about to be over in a second. But what y'all think so far, bro? We ain't really got. I feel like we ain't got too too much into it like that just yet. But let's see what the rest of this talking about. We still and got for twenty minutes. All my minutes. young girls who's tuning in, that's regular. That just means it's mm-hmm. super splishy, splashy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Hey, this yeah, nigga reminiscing of yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you're ever single again, and a regular working man wants to get your attention. This is what I'm talking about, bruh. The friends in the back, man. Who are y'all? You feel me? I can see, I can understand Sweetie saying some of the stuff because she, you feel me, is sweet. She's a rabbit. She make all this money. She do her thing. I can understand her having that mindset, even though it might not be the right one or might not be. The one that's going or have you end up where you want to end up relationship wise, you feel me? It might not be the right mindset for that, but I can still understand it from somebody who's kind of up there as far as a celebrity status goes. You feel me? These females in the background, like, what is you? T- <laughs> what? No, <laughs> you listen to no, these Oh, Lord. No. We can't. can't he he no. makes. No. 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 Hold up. No. Am I a regular bit? No. She. But then she did correct herself. She's not a right talking about sweet. Okay, because I hope you ain't talking about yourself. You got that. You can <laughs> you can hang out with sweetie, but that don't mean you can have the same privileges she might have. You feel me? Pipe down. No, no. Listen, what's the minimum? A, listen, what's the minimum a man could make if you were single to date sweetie? That's a great. What's question. the minimum salary a man could make for you to be? Look like, at her face, bro. I might consider it. Rich nigga, eight, eight, nigga, eight, that's eight, what I'm eight, saying. Eight, what it, what's, eight. what's the minimum he can make? But you did date uh, Justin Combs, right? Does he make eight figures? He is P Diddy's son, meaning that P Diddy had the money. Obviously, he has money too because he's connected to his dad. But does he make eight figures, ten million a year? I feel like that's doubtful. I mean, actually, he could because P Diddy could have plugged him into some stuff and. Now he got funds just rolling in type thing. That could be the situation. I don't know. I mean, either way. When people say stuff like it's like, I get it. You feel me? I fully understand it, but you for sure, I feel like, is missing out on who could really be a soulmate type thing because you're saying, well, he got to make... $50 Fifty million dollars a year for me to you feel me type thing, which I like. I said it's sweetie, so I can understand she makes a certain amount of money. So it's like I ain't trying to date nobody that's making too much more or less than I am. But it's like, what if the you know what I'm saying you? What if you making five million, ten million per year, and he had one million? You can't do that. That don't really make sense to me. You feel me? Even if he was making less than that, it's like if it was a nigga who was literally your soulmate, but he didn't make a million dollars, five hundred k or something. You can't work with that, like. But it is what it is, bro. Like I, everybody has their own preferences. You, you, are, you're allowed to want what you want. That don't mean you're gonna get it. Shouts out. I think that was. I think Kevin Samuels might have said that, or NT. I don't know either way. To so even get to know you after this. The minimum. Minimum. Minimum salary. A nigga get to know. Sweetie. A re- what if do you, you were single? What do you count as a regular job? Hey, it might be a trucker and make. Uh, One hundred thirty thousand a year. Mm. Mm. Why? Hold up! You can't just discount hardworking men. Nah, I, I, nah, that's a fact. So you can't do that. No, I'm just saying, but I'm but I'm asking her. How the hell are you gonna say? Look at the girl in the back with the black, bro. This girl right here. The hell is you talking about? He just said you can't discount hardworking men. Uh, well, I mean, she she she's working hard and she making more than him. Who are you? You know what? Harder. But I'm asking what if she her. Got more opportunity? I'm talking about she working harder. Yeah, she's not necessarily working harder. He could be working a back breaking job at a coal mine. Like you mean you're not necessarily working harder than him. You're just making more money. You was put put in a better made your way to a better position to be able to make more money, not necessarily doing as much. You being at a video shoot or making music. Yeah, that's still time consuming. That's still hard work you got to put in. But to somebody who's literally doing back breaking work six, six or six to seven days per week working 
6 a.m. to motherfucking 8 p.m. or 9 p.m., seven days a week, you're not working harder than them from a physical standpoint. You feel me? Yeah, you're getting. Yeah, it's paying off for you more, but that's because you, you're in that position to where you a celebrity. You can show up somewhere and they paying you fifty k just to come to a club, just to stand in a club. You feel you coming there for two hours, fifty k to your bank account or fifty k cash in your hand. But this other guy got to go work eighty hours a day a week to make uh three thousand dollars. You feel me? He's working harder, but you're making more because of the position you're in. So the girl in the back, bro, she need to relax. Yeah. Right. And, and just like made it before. Him. What's the like, minimum what salary you're what willing to make? What if got to grind his single? way and he gonna come up? Exactly. Come up, come get me. Yeah, come oh. Cap, Cap, when I come up, you won't see me, but I'm out of there. Look at you talking about. She that type. She ain't, she ain't trying to wait until nobody get, get, get to where they going. She wants you to come to her already. But who are you? How much do you make a year? You feel me? That's that's what I'm trying to figure out. Come up, come get me. Brittany's speaking facts tonight. When he come up, come get me. Y'all sound dumb as hell. That is not facts. If, that, if that's what you're going to say, by the time he come up, he's not looking for you. That's tough. In, 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 in your mind, come and get me. In his mind, you wasn't with me when I, you ain't want me when I was down. Now I'm Mike Jones. Back then, they didn't want me. Now I'm hot. They all on. Come on. What you talking about? Big oh, I love it. Oh my God. We got a segment called Truth or Shot. Either you're going to tell the <laughs> truth or you're going to take I a see shot. you got on them new fours too. Uh, I ladies can't... in the crowd, y'all good with that? Yeah, yeah, let's get it. Listen, God is watching, so if y'all lie, <laughs> it, can, it, can get, it can get really bad for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Calm with, you know what I'm saying? Don't do that. Ladies, y'all got to be real with me though. Okay. Listen, Come on. have y'all ever talked to the wrong friend at first? Mm. Yes. And yeah. then, these, are some of, these are some of them social media questions. Yeah. You never let me talk. Hold on. Hold on. Yo, one mic. One mic. Have you ever talked to the wrong friend at first and then spent the block? Yeehaw. So that's a normal thing? Have you ever spent the block on the richer friend? Because y'all found out the nigga y'all chose was broke. I'm gonna start with the crowd first. Who wants to answer first? I need now, a I thought he was gonna go with the. Uh, she she picked somebody, but then found out he he had a better looking friend in her eyes. So did she stop messing with him to go to the other guy that she was more attracted to? But he said to the to the richer friend. You feel me? Toxic answer though. Okay, like I don't know about richer, but necessarily like if you. So you gonna deal with the broker friend? No, I'm no. Not the broker friend. So what are you talking about? But that's not why I spent the. So you got a good personality. Because he just wasn't better. Your your friend was finer. That's what I was saying. You feel me? Like I thought that's how he was gonna word it, but his dick might what? Oh! Hold up, talk. Don't whisper that part. So you would deal with the broker? No, bigger. No, bigger, er, bigger I bigger, heard what you said, but you gotta deal with the broker nigga who does nothing the for you. Nigga. The, the, the bigger the, nigga. The bigger. Talk about. Oh, oh my crazy. god. <laughs> Take a shot. I need a shot. I need a shot. Need a shot. Need a shot. Need a shot. And y'all gonna do and stuff. I need it. all the ladies in the back. I need they. Give me your motherfucking annual income, cause all y'all talking like y'all making big bucks. You feel me? Y'all gotta be over a million a year, over that the way y'all talking. <laughs> these girls, these girls in the background is for the streets. Cheers, cheers. Let them take their shots. Hey, yo, please Love. let them get their shots, please. I mean, she hit it right on the nail. So you though. feel the same way she Absolutely. felt? Absolutely. Yeah. So tell your story. I'm listening. I mean. <laughs> tell your story. We listening. God is watching. Uh-oh. I mean, I get it. You know, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes what? You meet someone. Right. And <laughs> after six months or eight months, you meet someone else. And be like, oh, y'all know each other. Eight months. Oh, 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 two weeks. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> My thing is, they talking like this, like it's all good, you feel me? But let the shoe be on the other foot. Let it be a nigga, and he he messing with you, meet your friend and say, damn, she bad. <laughs> like, you look good, but she's bad. 
and he leave you to go mess with her. You gonna label him an F nigga? You gonna label him he trash? He this? He that? Like, come on, coach. What is you keep keep the same energy you would have? Take That's all I want you to do. Shout to that. What's the most disrespectful shit that a nigga did to break your heart and it was the last straw? Like he changed. Hold on, hold on. It was your last. Like you become emotionally unavailable because of that person. Um, I think it's lying. It's the principle. But, but they lied about what though? Oh, I think it's best if I just keep that to myself. No, I want to know your story though. Is she talking about? Story. Is she talking about him? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think it's lying. It's the principle. But, but they lied about what though? Oh, I think it's best if I just keep that to myself. I want to know your story. That camera. Hey, I seen somebody comment. Matter of fact, it was like the cameraman petty is. <laughs> First of all, does the cameraman know what happened? Because this one, like, he was ready to pay that. Bit. He ain't paying the whole time. Like, as soon as she said that, look at his face, though. Yeah, that ain't somebody did some lying. That's tough. You got to get into this. <laughs> hold up. We're not about to let you just walk. It's free of this. It's a safe place. Me, let's hold on. Hold it's, on. A, it's a safe place with, uh, with 15 cameras in here. Hold on. It's just me and her here. Yeah, I don't like liars. Okay, take a shot. We appreciate you. Yeah. We appreciate you. Y'all going to be bent by the end of this. Stream 85 plus live. What y'all think, bruh? We got another five second break. Y'all get down there in the comments. Pause the video if you got to. Let me know what y'all thinking, bruh. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all done already heard my thoughts, you feel me? I like to pause it and give, give my thoughts and then keep it moving. So y'all let me know what y'all thinking so far. Still got about 15 minutes. You keeping it super sexy tonight. We get what's going on. Jess, I might have to start with you. Oh, man. Listen, you my brother, so don't lie to me. You know what I'm saying? Right, Everybody else might lie to me in this world. But you know what I'm saying? It's different between us. Yeah, talk to me. What's the craziest thing you ever did to get a woman back in your life? You know what I'm saying? You loved her that much. You really just, you needed her in your life that much. You know what I'm saying? You might have fucked up. You didn't know no better at the time. Um, so you just did something crazy that's unlike you to get her back. Long story that? short. No, 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 no. Make a long story long. <laughs> Fuck it. <we're> talking <laughs> You're not making shit short here. Tell your story, be vulnerable. If you gotta cry here, I'm gonna hug you tonight. Yeah. Talk about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Run it back like if it was that day where you where you went black. All right, listen, so. He's still gonna leave Yams, something out. Right? Hey, Yams is Miami, if yeah. you don't know. No, I get into a disagreement with my shorty. A disagreement? What was that disagreement, my brother? I forget. Cal she you ended remember, up but you. Yeah, listen, she ended up leaving. I don't know where she's at, so I'm just looking. So she to left you for no reason. Had. Are you gonna take nah, accountability? It was tonight? definitely a reason. It was a reason. So what was that reason? You my brother. You my breast me. I was here. outside too much, and I wasn't supposed to be outside that much. Okay, so you like to party. You like to be in other it. women's faces. Yeah, yeah, you I didn't was, appreciate the queen you had at home. I was there. You you texting other women. You following I back on social media. Damn. You, you're my brother. Yeah. You're my brother. Bruh, the way Justin Combs talk remind me of one of my boys from uh from damn college, bro. My boy is smooth. Like how he talks, like he real chill, kinda laid back. He ain't doing too too much, you feel me? He got kinda remind right, so me of my boy okay, smooth. Cool. So you was wrong. You yeah. was sound smooth okay, if you cool. watching me. So I'm on a search looking for her. <clears throat> end up finding out what hotel she at. But that's the front desk man, get the key. So I'm what that mean? You made <laughs> through that nigga band for the for the room key? In that bitch. So I get there. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> that front desk man could have got fired. Yeah, but he did. Are you gonna pay a salary ticket? Like I said, he didn't. What you came back a month later to check and see if he was still working? <laughs> what is this nigga talking about, bro? Nah, yeah, he, he, he took good. a risk he for you. He good. So I'm in there. I go in there ready for whoa. I'm like, yo, I don't know what I'm about to walk into. Like, she gonna be with somebody else? Like, what's she doing? It. I walk in there. She not there. She's phone. not there. Listen, I, listen. I'm searching the whole city. I, I just type. No, you already know what. I already know what he about to say. The nigga wait. He stayed there until she came back. Probably. Yeah, I, I waited till she came back. Ooh, and then she came know. with me. And we... Was it sweetie? The way y'all doing these camera angles is like I don't know. What's the craziest thing a man ever did to get you back? I mean, he took you for granted. He cheated. He was disrespectful. He did everything. All right, just coach. Beat another that? nigga up. Beat another. Beat his in front ass of you. up. Beat his ass up. In front of you. She's lit, bro. 
This bitch is lit. Somebody else in front of you? Yeah. What if he lost that? <laughs> Yo! Hold on, I gotta go back. She's lit. She, she that lit. That moment when he realized he lost you, he might have just... Beat another me. nigga up. Beat his ass up. Beat his ass up. Beat somebody else in front of you? Yeah. What if he lost that? Yo! Hold on! Hold on! Yo, listen. That's low level thinking there, you feel me? What are you talking about? Are we in high school? He beat a nigga up and that made you want to throw the foot? Like. Throw the wop at the man? Like, what is we talking about? I mean, I get what you're saying, though. Like, because women still something like, they still like the protector to an extent. But it's like, okay, what was the situation here? Did he just get into a fight? He beat a nigga up? And like, now you like, hey, you looking 10 times better than you looked before you knocked that nigga out. Like, what? I, I kind of get it, but nah, come on, coach. But she is lit, same time. I don't know. Who is this girl, bro? She got a bust down or is it too? Who, 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 who is she? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> What's the craziest thing a man ever did to get you back in their life? They fucked up. They knew you was the prize. He know he was the you one. You know, when niggas fuck up, you got to put them on ice, right? Right. Ooh, Don't try to go back to your lyrics. Don't try to plug your song in this video. Oh, Ice and green. Take a shot to that. Put the niggas on ice. You know, money talk. So, um... Did he have a lot of money to talk how he wanted to talk? Look, I woke up, I got a notification from my bank, and you know, that was just enough money to buy several properties. Oh, mm. You ca- Hey, you dumb as hell. Because imagine, you did all that, and you not even with her right now. Because she either with Quavo or she single. So you sent that much of a bag well, unless it was Quavo she talking about. <laughs> if it was anybody else except Quavo, like, if they're still together and it was Quavo, okay, you're still with her. Anybody else who's not with her, it, you're a fool. That was wasted money. You already messed up, so you woke, I mean, she woke up to 100K in her bank account, 100, 200K in hers. Maybe even more than that. You blowing the bag, my boy. You tripping. Mm. 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 What he do for you to not even be with her? I better we better be walking to the altar right now if I'm sending that much money. You 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 tripping. What, send that what did he do to what did <laughs> you do to So that obviously was not Justin. The way he he seemed surprised there, like I ain't doing that. Look, money talk, I'm a businesswoman. Mm. Word. I'm a businesswoman, so if you send me a hundred thousand, I'ma get back with you and let you slide. You know what that is? Like, we ain't even about to go there. And time is money, so don't waste my month, my time. Ain't no, mm. oh my God. So when you wasted real. your time, you build him. <laughs> Sent the invoice. Sent the invoice. She's not talking. To, she's not talking too much. She ain't nothing like a cancer woman. A lot of women out there who don't ask men for money because they might be too prideful. Yeah. They don't know how to ask the proper way. First of all, so niggas get nothing from them. <laughs> niggas get nothing first from them. So Serena's so gonna first. tell you. How to ask a man for money the most respectful way. One mic, one mic, one mic, one mic. I'm too proud. She going, sweetie's about to tell these ladies how to finesse a nigga for some money. Let's see what, let's see what she's saying. First of all, ladies, don't ever be scared to ask for no money. Period. Okay. Because, like, it's hard to I mean, it's just, well, women and we got how coochie. First sweetie, you sound, that's foolish. That's, that's foolish. If that's your first point, you're already starting off horribly. You feel me? Ladies, don't be scared to ask for no money. Sweetie, you are on a different... Do you not understand you are in a different tax bracket than these ladies? So for you to say that, the regular degular uh, Jaquita over here, at, you feel me, who not money-wise where you at, can ask a nigga for money and get cut off quick. You, on the other hand, you look good. You make your own money. So you asking another rich nigga for money is not really the same type of issue as it is if you ask for 20K from a nigga and somebody who's dating a guy who makes 20000 a year or 30000 a year asking a nigga for 20000 
Or even a nigga who making a hundred thousand a year, two hundred thousand, and you asking him for twenty k. Man, it's probably not gonna fly. You feel me? You telling these ladies some stuff that they, they, this is some pure time foolery, ladies. I mean, you could do whatever you want to do. I'm telling, this ain't wise advice. That's all I'm saying. Mm. Well, but second of all, respectfully, <laughs> respectfully, respectfully, you always gotta be cute about it, though. You know. <laughs> Like, you know, babe, ain't when you need groceries. Ain't nothing I want to go shopping. Okay. Oh, you got to set it up. You don't just flat out and ask for it. That's you asking, though. Any man who's not mesmerized by you, who's not just, oh, I'm going to give you whatever you want, I'm going to do whatever you want me to, is very quickly going to uh, identify that you're just asking me for money. Just, be, just because you didn't come out saying, hey, can I get this money? You just said, babe, I need groceries. What does that mean? I need to spend something to get you these groceries, obviously. You're not telling me you need the groceries because you about to go get them yourself. You're not telling me you need to go shopping because you about to go fund your own shopping spree or you wouldn't be telling me. You would just be going to do it. Like, as you're talking about, like, any any nigga who's not just full on head over heels for you is going to easily identify what the hell you're talking about. You got to set it up nice and cute. Do y'all take y'all man shopping, though? Okay. Like, he's supposed to just take y'all shopping? Like, do y'all get... No. Nah, I feel like she's going... The some of the ladies in the background, especially the the one who was kind of lit with the black on, I feel like she's gonna say she don't take her man shopping. So Weedy might say that same thing too. That might be why Justin Combs asking because maybe she ain't never take him on no shopping spree when they was together. I would assume that's why he asking. Nice things are like why do why do boyfriends want to be treated like girlfriends? Now? Be you see what I'm saying? That's why he was asking. She obviously did not do that in the relationship, right? Now he's now. You see, he just asked a simple question. She's already talking about, hey, I need groceries. Hey, um, you know, I'm, I want to go shopping, even though I'm a millionaire. I claim I make all this money, but I'm going to finesse you for Yoja before I spend my own. Hey, do what you do. You feel me? But all he said was, do you take your man shopping? Like just a rant like, hey, babe, let me take you out here. Do X, Y, and Z. Why do she going to answer with why do the niggas want to be treated like a girl? Or why, why do the boyfriends want to be treated like girlfriends? Did he say, can you please take me on a shopping spree? Please, so much. Like, can you please do it? I want to go shop. He didn't say all that. The man literally said, do you take him there? Like, do you ever just out of the random, just out of the kindness of your heart, you just like, hey, babe, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate what you've been doing. Let, let me take you out shopping. Let me do X, Y, Z for you. Her mentality. Sweetie's mentality to me is like, I don't know, bruh. That's some bougie bit type stuff, you feel me? You gotta set it up nice and cute. Can't do it. Do y'all take y'all man shopping though? Like, he's supposed to just take y'all shopping? Like, do y'all get nice things or like... Why do why do boyfriends want to be treated like girlfriends? They gotta be... Oh! Oh! Take a shot! Take a shot! Why do boyfriends want to be treated like girlfriends? Mm. I don't like that disrespect, Justin. Why they ain't want y'all ain't want to finish it off? What the? I want to see what the what the what was happening yeah. out of it. Of course, it wasn't about money. Obviously, you got money now. You in a great space. You graduated college. You a queen. <laughs> but what's the most thoughtful gift you ever got for me? Um. Well, before I start that, um, let me just clarify something. I'm listening. Because men deserve to be spoiled, right? Mm -hmm. So you spoil your so Come on now. Did you just hear what? How are you going to switch the whole vibe up? He just asked you a simple question. Do you take your man shopping? You answered that with pure disrespect. Why do the boyfriends want to be treated like girlfriends? Who said did you, anybody? He didn't even say, can you take it? Either way, I already, I already went over that. But now you you want to rework. Well, let me you know get this out of the way. You know, men deserve to be spoiled. It can't be both in one, sweetie. Come on. About it. Okay, but hear me out. So, men want you um, to give up the coochie. They want you to have the First babies. Day. But then they also want you to match his bag. That mm. requires working all day. Who said? What man? I mean, I, that, that, that's not every man. Maybe, maybe in that upper echelon of men, you're referring or that that you may know you feel me like a quavo you feel me i don't want to be with somebody who not on a grind doing their thing i can understand that but yeah, i mean she's talking about they want you to give up the coochie you acting like you don't 
your friends was just talking earlier about y'all leaving niggas to go with a nigga with a bigger dick. So it ain't no issue for you to give it up then, is it? What are you talking about? <laughs> like what? That requires hustling the same way. Right. Mm-hmm. So like him coming home, asking for some coochie, some dinner, and a baby, and then <laughs> you want to be spoiled on top of that? Who's asking for that, though? If y'all making that much money, you probably got a personal chef. He probably ain't coming home like, hey, I want you to match my bag and also be a housewife. That literally makes no sense. That's delusion if I ever seen it. If a man was asking for that, that's foolish. There's no way there's a man asking you to match his bag, but also stay at home, have the kid, make him food. That literally makes no sense. There could be some man asking for that. If they are, they're foolish for that because that's impossible. I can't be a housewife and make money. But I feel like she's kind of over exaggerating to an extent as far as what they might ask. That must be a realistic I'm listen, though. I'm all in. Sometimes a, a man has to be all in for a queen. I'm just listening. I don't want to talk I know that's him. right. All I'm saying is, I mean, it's cool to spoil your man, but come on now. We deserve to be spoiled 24 7 because of what we can offer. What do you offer? What do you offer? You do offer, like you said, vagina. You offer that the same way a man offers. Penis. You're gonna say that you, you are. I mean, somehow you offer something that's so much more better. Like I do understand what she's saying to an extent, but it's like, I mean, it's like every female has one the same, the same way every man has a dick. So it's like, and then you're gonna say, well, I can have babies, you can't, but you can't have a baby without a man's sperm. So I mean. There's still a little, you feel me? There's still a like give and take here. Like you can't just, don't act like your shit is just golden, my nigga. Everybody got what you got, my nigga. or every female got what you got. But when it comes to giving gifts, I am a gift giver. Mm. Okay. You know, I did, you know, give someone the Richard Millie that costs, you know, mm. you know. That's all your money. A Richard, hell yeah. What mm-hmm. else? Ain't no loan money. That's how she's talking. I feel like she's talking about Quavo. Because Justin, he ain't really re- reacting to that. But I feel like she's talking about Quavo, but the way she said it sounds like they might actually not be together because she, like, yeah, I gave somebody a Richard Miller that was... Which is cool and all, but... I mean, don't say it like Quavo just needed this. You feel me? The nigga do got... I'm sure, I'm sure that motherfucker is, is, is all right. Mm-hmm. I'm sure he probably had a Richard Mill before that. I mean? personally feel like what nigga deserves a Richard Like, what could a nigga have done for you to deserve a Richard Miller? I mean, I get Bentley shopping spree, uh, private jets, um, Birkin bag. Do y'all hear that? She just named off 10 things she get, and she gave that man one thing. And she's going to say, well, my, my, my insides, too, I gave him that. What? Period. Is that the brass one of them? Yeah, one of my Birkin bags. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They said them, them Birkin bags can, can literally run you about, f- I think like three hundred k, three four hundred k for the most expensive ones. That's tough. Little green. Yeah, so if, so if you spoil me the right way, I'm gonna spoil you back. But you gotta spoil me first. You just heard what you? No, that's cap though. They did like you just said. This man has to do fifty five thousand things to get one gift from you. What? Respectfully. Mm. Yes, respectfully. Yeah. But somehow you're a gift giver. Respectfully. Respectfully. That's okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can I can understand you saying he spoil you first and you spoil him back, but not I gotta do give you the world and back before you give me a McDonald's Happy Meal. Like what are you talking about? I ain't got shit else to ask you. Fuck is you talking? Increase your R. What is our time at right now, bro? I need y'all boys. Let, hey, let me know what y'all thinking, bro. We just sat through this thing. We have 43 minutes. Y'all let me know how y'all feeling, bro. Hopefully, this ain't lagging right now. But either way, let's keep it going. Oh, you man pressing cheap. real hard right now. Who, me? Oh. <laughs> nah, I'm just asking a question. Why What's you pressing man real cheap? hard? What <laughs> the fuck is you talking about? Dang, boy, What's you pressing real cheap? hard right now. Who, me? Oh. <laughs> nah, I'm just asking a question. I want to know. Oh, it's okay. She's ducking face. I ain't gonna lie, just because he seemed genuine as hell with how he coming at her. She obviously like right there. She seemed like she was trying to come at him just a little bit, but then how she laughed was like, ah, I'm a. 
I'm gonna go ahead and like lighten it up a little bit because he ain't really playing, playing. You feel me? Kind of. <laughs> I'm just asking a question. I want to know. Oh, it's okay. Answer? I'm She's sorry. ducking face. Right, You're not you asking too hard. No, don't believe that. All right. Do you believe a cheater can change, or once a cheater, always a cheater? Let's start with that. I believe a cheater. Can change. <laughs> you don't ask you though. How you do that? And why is that? How can he change that? Oh shit! Oh yeah! If you stop, I'ma stop. It's dangerous. I'm scared of you. Listen, this is the shoot your shot segment of the show. Ladies, I need every woman in here to chime in, but we're gonna start off with Sweetie tonight. Mm -hmm. Ladies, if you are ready in a relationship and your man is doing everything this he's supposed to, wrist is bust down, bro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Respecting you, loving you, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Mm -hmm. But one thing on his wish list is he oh, asked for this is what we saw. Oh. This is what we watched at this time. Some of y'all fans of it, some of y'all not. That's a real question, man. Mm -hmm. Some happens. You go both ways. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. I love the crowd. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. One mic, one shot. mic. Oh. I love it here, sweetie. Mm. I'm gonna go directly at you. Yes. If you're in a relationship and your man's doing everything he's supposed to, mm. he respects you, he loves you, he's doing everything he's supposed to, and he asks for a threesome and you get to choose anyone in the world uh -huh. to bring home for you <clears throat> and him. Right. Anyone, who would it be to give your man and you your dream threesome? Okay, Don't doing, lie. Don't he's lie. doing everything right. Everything right. Everything right. Everything right. He's been a perfect gentleman for you. <laughs> right. Like for the first time in your life, a nigga's doing everything right, but he just wants a one See, three. like this part right here, I feel like she's half serious, but half for entertainment. Because you can see how she playing into it, trying to set it up for the for the tomfoolery. Who's the dream girl to bring home to him to make all of y'all happy? Okay, so that shopping experience is... That's... Look at this nigga. <laughs> Who we bringing home, baby? That motherfucker look like... It's all of that. That's good, dick, good. It's communication. Mm. Tongue in your butt. Picking up the phone. Tongue? Look at you Sucking your toes. Paying all your bills. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, wow. And okay. you want to make him happy, finally. Because he, you put him through hell. So a threesome, right? You put him through a hell. A threesome, right, ladies? Right. Threesome. I normally talk to men who are cultured, who's been around the world, who know a lot of people. Right. Um, it's on you. Hold on, bro. Hold on. All right, bro. We back here, boy. You know, you yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. I understand that. But because he's doing everything right, I'm going to give him the honor of picking the nigga who we're going to have a threesome with. Oh! Which, I mean, is a funny answer. But realistically, you're just saying you want, you're want you fine with getting a train, a train ran on you. Essentially. I mean, like I said, that's why I said I feel like it's 50% entertainment, 50% factual. Look at this nigga. I'm out. I gotta go. We need to. Oh, no. I don't play that shit to that nigga. That's not a yes. Hold up. That's a what? Hold up. No. You see what I'm saying? She knows what she's doing. Now you're really just playing for the cameras at this rate. Let me talk now. Don't, be, be, be. don't, don't, don't count. Yo, man. <laughs> A uh, woman and two men is a train. That's not a threesome. What did I just Could say? Could you be with a man? You make more money than. No, hell no. If he oh. treats you amazing, but he was just broke. He's just a broke. Or I make more money than him. He's, He's a regular nigga. You know what I'm saying, man. Right? You you wording this all over the place. You can't say broke. You said you make more money than. Okay, is that a, a million less or a D? And, and and then you go full on broke. Come on, coach. You just asked her earlier. How much do a man have to make? To, to, to even talk to her. So obviously you're broke. They ain't gonna, ain't gonna work for her at really. least. But if he loves you, how you broke his beast like? though. Yeah. No, I'm saying he broke. He, he broke or he like but make he less money than me. He's broke. He let me. A nigga make less money than you is broke. <laughs> a nigga who make less money than you is broke. What are you saying, buddy? What, what are you talking? That makes no sense. She's literally a millionaire. 
So if I make a little bit less than her, I'm broke. What are you talking about? Should be say it again. Could you? <laughs> say it again. No. You date a man who makes less money than you at this point in your life after you worked your way to where you're at. If she made two million a year and I make one point five, what are we talking about here? So, to be clear, is he broke or I make more more money than him? He's broke. He's broke. Yeah, but he loves you and he treats Come you like on, a bro. queen. We already know what the he answer is. He does everything is. perfect, but. He's broke. But I don't even be around those type of niggas. Yeah. 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 Yo, listen. Yo, hold on. Party, here we go. The choir in the background again. Period, 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 boo. Like, relax, bruh. Who are these biddies, bruh? I want to know who these ladies are. Like, because y'all got too much entitlement. Like, hold I don't on, get hold it. On, hold on, hold on. We not about to let her off the hot seat. All y'all ain't even bad. Like, man, you know me? I mean, uh, hey, don't get me wrong. A handful of y'all is. But I'm mean, y'all in the background looking a little iffy. I think with no anything count. in life, you have to upgrade. So now, Three. so since I'm, my minimum is eight figures, I like to go up to nine. Does that answer mm, your question? It yeah. does. Oh my it does. Don't they got to have a hundred million to get Nine figure, up? nigga. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I gotta work hard for that. You gotta yeah, upgrade. Listen, a lot of men, a lot of men don't have nine figures, so you're not gonna get next to Sweetie. And Sweetie expecting a child later this year or early 2022, respectfully. Tell us, tell us, Queen. Tell us, Queen. You gotta pay for tell that information. Us, you gotta pay for that type of information. How much? That's a yes, obviously. You or you would just that. say no. Yo, hey, listen. Or you this would is just episode say no. two of the respectfully hey. Justin Show and Revolt. Is that all? Mm -hmm. AKA, she's expecting a baby twenty later, twenty twenty one, early twenty twenty two. What's that? Queen Icy. Queen Icy. Big Icy. Yeah. Shimmy. Thanks for coming tonight. Yeah, thank you so much. We appreciate you. That nigga Justin look like he for sure wants to eat. We appreciate you. Look like if she gave him a damn shot, he 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 a jump out. I love y'all too. Y'all have my back, y'all. She's expecting later. I spoke to the lady and she. I'm gonna get up there right now, but I wish I had a lot of tickets right now. <laughs> Good, I know IT. We hit a pop watch shit. Alright, bro, I'm like, is that it? Alright, bro, now this was a this was a lengthy one today, to say the least. But hey, I wanted to get this out. Like I said, it was trending on Twitter. I figured, bro, my damn candle about to go out. Um I just wanted to get the, get this one out to y'all, let y'all see what what was going on as far as why it was trending and all that. Um, y'all, let me know what y'all think in the comments, bro. Y'all didn't just about seen my entire reaction to this. Y'all already know my thoughts on it. A lot of this was some tomfoolery. Like I said, sweetie, I can at least understand why she would be talking how she talking. Some of them other ladies, cut it. You feel me? Would like cut it? Cause y'all was really wild. And either way, bro. Um, y'all get down there in the comments. Let me know what y'all thought about it. If y'all like content like this, as far as, like I said, the red pill, blue pill, that all, that whole scenario or that whole, uh, side of, not even just that, but like, I'm, I'm going to start rolling out some different content just to get y'all thoughts on it, bro. But either way, man, um, this was wild, but we on the road to 20 K subscribers, a hey, team. I appreciate all the love y'all been showing so far. Let's keep it going. Keep it growing. Like I always say, y'all keep coming back, tuning in. I'm going to keep these videos rolling out. We're going to keep getting it lit over here. Catch y'all in the next video.